This week's Parsha is Parsha Chai Sarah. In Parsha Chai Sarah, Avraham's son Yitzchak meets his wife, Rivka. The Torah goes through a few psukim where it relates what happened between the two upon their first meeting. Upon the conclusion of that meeting, Yitzchak marries Rivka, and the wording of the verse, actually the order of the verse, is very interesting. It says that Yitzchak took Rivka to his mother's tent, to his home, and he married her. She was to him as a woman, and he loved her. The sequence is very interesting. It says first he married her, then she was to him a wife, and then he loved her. My 12th grade Rebbe, my 12th grade Torah teacher, always used to say that every Parsha has its mirror in everyday life, what lessons it's coming to teach us about what episode in life. And he always said that Chai Yisara, the Parsha of Chai Yisara, teaches us about marriage, all aspects about marriage. Focusing specifically on this verse is that Avraham, that Yitzchak loved his wife. Of course Yitzchak loved his wife, Rivka, but it says he loved her only after he married her. The non-Jewish perception of marriage is always that love is something that comes before marriage. You achieve the perfection of union, of affection, of love, of compassion for each other before marriage. And once you get married, it's just maintaining it. It's kind of dull. The Jewish perception of marriage is entirely different. A person gets married to build a relationship, not to maintain the relationship. It does not get dull with time, it grows with time as does the love. That's why in the verse it says specifically that Yitzhak married her, it was, she became his wife, and only after that did he love her. Because yes, love is something that grows with time. As my teacher used to tell me that when a person is trying to find a wife, what he should be looking for is potatoes and meat to make a chant. He's not looking for a ready-made product. He's looking for it to make sure that the ingredients are there so that he could develop it in, into a productive relationship. In that meeting, first meeting between Yitzchak and Rivka, it's interesting because Rivka approaches Yitzchak and sees him from a distance. And she is overwhelmed and falls off of her camel. She's traveling on a camel and she abruptly falls off of her camel upon seeing Yitzchak in the distance, her, her group, her intended group. So why did she fall off? So the verse says that Yitzchak was actually davening as they approached. And when she saw Yitzchak davening, it made such an impression on her that she literally fell off her camel. Of course, it's, uh, I'm sure watching one of our forefathers pray is very impressive. Why did she fall off her camel? What did that show? Why was it so overwhelming to see Yitzchak David that she fell off her camel? Think about it. Let me know what you, th what you come up with. And um, I'd like to know. Have a great Shabbos.